Well, children, how many more days? Just ten more, Mother. You know, this reminds me of the time I was about to get married. Tell us about it, Whitey. You know, I had the sweetest girl this side of the Rocky Mountains. And you know what happened? Just the day before we was to get married, she quit her job. Must have been a terrible shock. I never did get over it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Mrs. Lewis, for a wedding present, Mr. Patterson is making me foreman of his ranch. I hope you don't start by bossing me around. I think I'd have better luck with a cowhand. <laughs> <laughs> when did that brother of yours say he'd be back, Arlene? Well, I rather expected him back two days ago. According to my calculations, his grub's getting pretty low. That means he'll be back soon. Maybe that's him now. Party, fella. Yeah. Hey, what's all the excitement? Oh, I'll tell, oh, tell us what oh, happened. My boy. boy. <laughs> well, I finally struck it, Mother. Look. Look at that. Everything's going to be different around this shebang. In the first place, you're going east and have that doctor fix you up. Oh. And now I can pay back this hombre. He's been grub staking me, you know. And a man can't get married and live on love. Where'd you make the strike, Jack? Out on the edge of the desert. Say, I've got to get down to that claim office pronto. I'll go with you. All right. Jack! Oh! oh. You, you yellow. Get up. We're heading for town. Yeah, that's all. All right, put him away. Come on. I wonder why he killed Jack, Sheriff. I don't know, Bruce, but maybe I can get him to talk later. Well, I guess he won't need these things anymore. Looks like he's been doing a little prospecting. Yeah. Say, I feel awful sorry for Mrs. Lewis and Arlene. Terrible, though, Sheriff. I wonder if you could send somebody out to the ranch to take care of Chad. Don't worry, Bruce. I'll take care of everything. I have to be on my way. Well, thanks for bringing Davis in. Here comes Tex now. Well, boys, I see you're all here. Well, everything's arranged. Get Davis out about midnight. What about the sheriff? Don't worry. He'll be sleeping. I'm against taking the law in our own hands. Davis should be given a chance. He didn't give Jack Lewis a chance. He shot him in cold blood. 
And Lewis is one of the square shooters in this county. You ought to go through all the plans and string him up. Yeah. Hanging's even too good for that coyote. I understand your feelings. I reckon it's one way to stop murder. That's the way I figure. We'll try and get some more of the boys. And one in particular who would be mighty glad to join us. Who's that? Bruce Conway. Please try and get some rest, Mother dear. I can't, dear. Every time I close my eyes, I can see my boy. But, but we must have courage. Do try and get some sleep. I will. How's your mother feeling, Arnie? Oh, she's doing as well as can be expected. You better try and get some sleep, honey. All right. Sounds like we got company. Getting a bunch of the boys together. We're going to take Davis out and string him up. Meet us down at the stone quarry at sunup. That shows what Jack's friends think of him. Yeah. I don't suppose there's anything we can do about it. About what? Davis. I want to see him get what's coming to him, but there's a lot to take care of that. You getting those newfangled ideas, too? This was a mighty good country when the six-shooter was the law. You know those nuggets you found in Jack's pocket? Yeah. Well, the sheriff found the same kind of nuggets on Davis. That explains everything, Whitey. Davis found out about Jack's mine. And he murdered him so he could work it himself. Too bad Jack didn't leave a map or something to show the location. There's one way we can find it. How's that? Hank Davis. But they're going to hang him. That's for us to stop. But How? I don't know. We'll find some way. Come on. They've got him all right. Looks like we're just in time. Bring that rope, Jack. You can't do this. You can't. You should have thought about this before you murdered Jack Lewis. You can't do this. We'll have to rush him, Whitey. Conway ain't here yet. Well, we won't wait for him. It's the law. All their masks. It's his own men. Let's get them.
Hold him here. Howdy, boys. Howdy. Where's Davis? He got away. Got away? How? Two of his gang tricked us. Did you see anybody? Not on this road. Well, then he must have went straight ahead. What are we waiting for? Let's go. You go on back. I'll pick you up later. Say, who are you? What difference does that make? You're safe, ain't you? Yeah. Well, I don't know what your game is, stranger. But thanks. We ain't safe around here. Where can we go? I want to talk to you. Follow me. blame me for being sort of curious. You mind if I take a squint at you? You. What's the idea? First you turn me over with the sheriff, then you rescue me. That just don't make sense. Oh, yes, it does. You see, we're both interested in the same thing. What's that? That from the sheriff, huh? No. Off of Jack Lewis. You see, I'd planned to jump his claim myself. Then you shot him before I had a chance to find out where it was. After I turned you in, I realized you were the only one who knew its location. I see. Worth more alive than dead, huh? Exactly. I figured that uh, we could work this claim together. I thought you and Lewis were buddies. I heard you and his sister were going to get hit. Even buddies double-cross each other. Well, I suppose I do owe you something for saving my life. What do you say, Davis? It's a deal. Good. Now let's take a look at that plane. Uh, maybe we better stick around a while. This is a hideout for my men. I want you to meet them. That's probably them now. That's Davis's horse. Wonder what's up. I don't know, but we'll soon find out. Hello, Pete. Hiya, boys. Glad to see you, Dave. Oh, we thought the boy strung you up. Oh, I had a narrow escape. Cover this man. What's this all about? You're not so smart, Conway. What's he done? Tried to trick me. Your imagination's getting the best of you, Davis. All I'm interested in is a share of that gold. That's enough out of you. So you're holding melons, are you? I didn't have time to tell you. We're going to have more yellow dust than we'll ever be able to use. Where does this hombre come in? He don't. Let him go. Davis will get him. Oh, 
Punch game. Three times. Good night, sir. Turn around. Shooting is too good for these hombres. They're gonna die a natural death, but not an easy. Come about far enough. Yeah, we're in the middle of a hell pot now. Well, after riding all night, I reckon you hombres need a little rest. And here's a little present for you. I got them from a sheriff down on the border. Well, a pleasant journey to you. And don't forget, give my regards to your friend, Jack Lewis. <laughs> now get going. Buzzards out of sight yet? Yeah. Well, I had a gun. He could shoot these shackles off, couldn't he? I reckon he could. Well, I've got one. You have? Yep. You know, when that artillery is all loaded in my belt, one of them slipped through and landed in my boot. Well, why didn't you tell me? I didn't have a chance. Well, let's get it out. Is that an idea? Here, what is it? There ain't no sense in you and I splitting the gold with that gang. That's what I call a good idea. You know, they're going to demand a showdown when we get back. Well, what's your plan? I'll draw you a map of the mine location. Now, we can't file on it. But there's a pocket that you can clean out in a couple of hours. What do you figure's in that pocket? Ah, uh, you never can tell. Some of them run as high as 20,000. Yeah. Hey, you got a pencil? Yeah. It's no use, Whitey. See if you can shake it out. I can't get it up, Bruce. Coming. There she comes.
Don't move, Whitey. Well, that's one of them. Turn around, Whitey. Now, you take the shortcut over the ridge, ditch the nugget, and meet me at the hideout. Right. Hey, that's a fine-looking horse there. I believe I'll take him. Why not? Go ahead. We're sure lucky, Whitey. There were only two cartridges in the gun. This is a 44. Mine are 45. Gee, I'm sure thirsty. So am I. We better head for that range over yonder. That's a long ways. I know it. But it's the most likely place to find water. Here's Jack's watch, Mother. Jack was a fine boy and a good son. You still have me and Bruce. That's my one comfort, dear. Maybe if Jack hadn't been so anxious to get the money for me, this would never have happened. What's that? It's a map of Jack's strike. I must show this to Bruce. Morning, Miss Lewis. Good morning, Ed. Where's Bruce? Don't know. I haven't seen him or Whitey since early this morning. Well, do you know where they went? No, I don't. They may have gone to town. That's funny. Saddle my horse. Yes, sir. Company, huh? Yeah, I finished my business across the line. I thought I'd come back and see what it was doing. Where's Pete? Why, uh, Pete went into town to get provisions. What about the other two? Oh, they're probably baking plenty by now. Say, what about this gold strike? What do you mean, what about it? Don't forget, you said we were in on it, too. And while you was away, the boys and I sort of decided we'd like to take a look at it. You will, in due time. The time is now, Davis. All right, fellas. We've always gotten along because I've always played on the square with you. As soon as I take on a little grub, I'll show you where it is. Thanks, Ed. How are you making it? Me? Oh, I'm fine.
Sheriff Anderson here? Why, no. He's out trying to pick up Davis. Davis? Our Bruce brought him in yesterday. Yes, I know. But the boys took him out last night to string him up. But he got away. Uh, could I do anything? Well, I was really looking for Bruce. None of us knew the location of my brother's strike until we found this map in his watch. He was just starting for the claim office when he was killed. Well, if I was you, I'd have that recorded right away, then. I guess that is the thing to do. Thank you. That's all right. I guess this just about fixes you up, Miss Lewis. If there's any gold there, it's yours. Well, I'll have to have more information than you have here for my files. Here. Fill that out when you know the exact location of the section lines. All right, thank you. I'll see to it right away. You finished eating? Yeah. Well, let's get going. All right. Oh. We're nearing the range, Whitey. There should be water there. There better be. What's the matter, Davis? Uh, nothing. I just wasn't sure which trail to take. I guess this is it, all right. I hope we get there before sundown. What are you looking for? What are you doing with that horse? Oh, you know Conway, eh? <laughs> A map. So you know Lewis, too. Well, what of it? Oh, nothing, only... You're going to stay here until I clean up this pocket. Whitey, a tent.
take it easy, buddy. Well, what luck. We couldn't pick up his cradle. Say, Arlene Lewis is looking for you. Yeah, what she want? Don't know exactly. Her brother struck gold, but they didn't know the location of the strike until they found a map in his watch. Hmm. Gold strike, eh? Davis had some nuggets. Maybe that's why he plugged them. Where'd Arlene go? When she left here, she was on the road to the claim office. I'll see if she's still there. Guess she went out to the location, Sheriff. Hmm. She's liable to run into a peck of trouble. I better pick up a few of the boys. Say, where is this place anyhow? I'll show you. You follow the old desert road out to this point here. I wonder who this tent belongs to. I wonder. Marty, that jacket. That's Jack. The one you gave him for his birthday. It sure is. His claim must be near here. Let's try and locate it. This looks like a trail. Maybe it leads to his digging. Let's follow it. All right. It's Arlene. Look out, Bruce! Drop that gun. Nuggets. Give him cover, Whitey. You can have this one. What's the idea? <laughs> it's empty. How did you get into this, Arlene? Well, Mother found a map that Jack left in his watch. And when I reached here, I... Bring him down here, Whitey. Get going. Jack left some things in your tent. I'll pack them and we'll get out of here. All right, I'll help you. Davis and his gang. We're in a trap. Maybe they don't know about this tent. We'll wait and see what they're going to do.
Come on, get me out of this here, Davis. Pete, what are you doing here? What happened? Well, I was in town and some gal flashed a map and I followed her here and then two hummers we turned loose on the desert come along and tied me up. Well, where are they now? Well, they filled a poke of gold out of that pocket up there and left the horses here and headed up the trail. Well, come on. We'll give them a little surprise party. All right. All right, men. We'll run them down. Spread out. They spotted the tent and they're closing in on us. We've got to get out of here, Whitey. Follow me. Right in there. I'm going to try and get them to follow me. There's no one in there. They're around here somewhere. Or we'll find them. There's Conway now. Get him! That was good to get us to chase him. The others are probably around there somewhere and have the gold. Right. Come on. There's three of them after Bruce. That means there's two left. If we could only get to their horses. Here's what we're after. I reckon we'll be taking you along. They won't be throwing any slugs our way with you in front of us. Come on.
three of Davis's men are right on my trail. I don't know whether he's with them or not. We'll get them. Keep them up. Two of them stayed there, Sheriff, and Davis is one of them. Put them into town, boys. I'm following Conway. When are you going to get them guns? Now, come on, get going. Come on, here, get going. You're hurt. What happened? Don't worry about me. It's only creasing the hip. Where's Arlene? Davis and Pete took Arlene and the gold. I couldn't stop them, and they headed for the desert. Here, take the gun. You may need it. Headed for the desert. Bruce is after him. There's a canteen of water in the tent. You better take it. I tell you, I can't go any further. Well, it ain't my fault the horse has petered out. Yes, and I had to waste two bullets on him, too. Well, you can come along with us or wait here for the buzzard. Come on. Water! Pete! Pete! 
Don't drink anymore. It's poison. Poison? Well, I reckon you two won't be walking much further. But you're going with me just as far as you can. Come on. No, Lord! Uh, uh, do something. Do something for me. Don't, don't leave me. Stay with me. There ain't nothing I can do for you, Pete. Oh, what do you care? <laughs> you, won't, you won't have to split the gold with nobody now. <laughs> uh, Turn back, Conway. Turn back, or I'll fire. I took the shells out of out of the gun last night. Good work, Bruce. That's the last of them. All right, hombre. Pull yourself together. You got a long ride ahead of you.
It's all right, honey. The sheriff's here. We'll be on our way home real soon. <laughs> <laughs> 